All right, guys, so I just ordered some uh, beef noodle soup, okay, from uh, this restaurant called Pho E or Pho Y number one, okay, and it's in uh, San Jose, California. And I uh, use the DoorDash food app, okay, so if you guys, um, you know, don't have time to go to a certain restaurant, or you know maybe you don't drive or you don't have a car you know or you just don't feel like uh driving there then you can use uh the DoorDash uh food delivery app all right so i've been using this for a pretty long time pretty convenient and i really like it uh, i always order a lot of my food through the uh like i said the DoorDash uh food ordering uh app all right so if you guys are like interested and our new, um, you know, first time customers, you can use my referral link, okay? Uh, all you gotta do is just click on my link and uh, download the app and you can order food and get some discount, okay? Um, if you use my link, you get, um, I guess you get some discount and I get some discount as well, all right? So it helps out for both sides. Anyways, all right, so today, um, like I said, I just uh, got the order from the DoorDash driver and um, I am craving for some pho today. And this is how it looks like. It was in the bag, but I took it out, okay? Um, it comes with, so the pho that I order, um, there's a lot of types that you can order, but the one that I ordered today is called the, um, the pho with rare steak and soft tendon. This is the soft tendon right here, and this is the rare steak, okay? So it's red. Um, and then obviously the, um, the pho noodle itself. Okay. And then it also comes with the, uh, veg vegetables, um, the bean sprout, you know, the, uh, the green vegetables, some, uh, jalapenos and some, um, basically sriracha and hoisin sauce. And this right here is the soup. Okay. So, all right. Normally what I do is I don't really just pour the soup in and eat in this bowl, okay? Because whenever I, you know, whenever you to go something, it's it gets really cool. So what I do is I'll just put it in another bowl. And then I'm so so it's more room, you know, cuz the bowl they give you is is small, right? This one is too small compared to this one. I like to uh put it into this big one and then um microwave it a little bit so that way it's uh more um you know more warm okay so that's it right there and then what you want to do is spread this meat around okay especially the rare meat here so that way when you pour in the hot soup it's gonna cook it okay because you don't want to like um you know you could you know eat it uh really rare or you can put it in here so it's not too uh, rare, okay? I kind of like to eat mine rare too, but uh, in this, you know, in this video, I want to show you guys um, what you guys can do. Either eat it rare or um, or try to cook it up more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the microwave, okay? The soup right here. I'm going to put this soup in the microwave so it's more um, boiling hot. And then I'm going to pour it inside the um, my... Um, my bowl of pho. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I just warm up the soup for about three minutes, okay? And it's like crazy hot, okay? Ah, my goodness, it's really, really hot. I'm gonna have to use a napkin here to uh, pour it into the bowl here. So you can see me use a napkin. It's crazy hot, okay? So, and then what you wanna do is you wanna pour it around the, um, you know, even evenly. So the way it cooks the, um, the meat, the rare meat, okay? Like you see what I'm doing right now. And then, you know, if you don't, if you can't eat the uh, vegetables like these ones, you know, like these, uh, like bean sprout and stuff, if you can't eat it like um, not cooked, you wanna put it in and then uh, pour this over it so it cooks the vegetables. But for me, I can eat it rare. I can eat the vegetable rare. So 
I'm just gonna put it in afterward. Okay, so that is how it looks like. Now it's all cooked up, okay? You're supposed to pull these these um these noodles out too, okay? So so it's easier to eat. Just kind of pull it apart so you know it doesn't get all stuck together, all right? And then after you um put the sauce uh the soup in, you want to put some of the veggies in, okay? So some of these uh green veggies here. I love eating these, so you normally eat uh need normally put a lot of them in. When I go to the restaurant, you know, sometimes I don't give enough and then I ask for more, you know. But since you bring it, since you buy it to go home, this is all they give you. And then these are the jalapenos. I'm just gonna throw them all in. I don't want this one. Okay, so. And then you also wanna put the uh, bean sprout. And we'll put them all in. Like I said earlier, if you guys can't eat the um, the bean sprout um, uh, raw like like me, then you want to put it in earlier and then pour the uh, the soup over so it cooks it a little bit. But for me, I can eat it uh, pretty raw, so I just put it after I pour the uh, the soup in. And then after that, it got some they got some lemon as well, and I like to put lemon it on, so it tastes better. And then there is another lemon here. There's more uh, you know, the, the veggies there. I like more lemon, so I'm gonna squeeze more. And then they also have the, um, this one, okay guys, is a hoisin sauce. Normally you eat fo uh, hoisin sauce with, uh, with pho, okay? So just put it in. I asked them to give me uh, extra hoisin sauce, so I guess they gave us like three bags of each of the hoisin sauce and the um, sriracha. Just put enough, right? Don't put too much if you uh, can't eat it. But normally I put a lot of them because I really like uh, eating a lot of the sauce. And then there's one more lemon. I'm just going to put more lemon in. So yeah, guys, this is how pho looks like. If you guys have never eaten pho before. And then I also bought, have my own um, chili pepper, okay? Because I like it to eat really spicy. So I have these right here as well. This is my own, okay? They didn't give this to us. And then all you got to do is just mix it up. And then uh, just start eating. That's it. So that's about it. So let me uh, start eating. Hey everyone, I'm Honda Nguyen. How's everybody all doing today? Hope everybody is having a great day today. Hey guys, today I'm super hungry right now and I ordered myself some pho like I was telling you earlier, okay? Uh, right now I'm gonna start eating. So, um, so this is how big my bowl looks like now. You guys see that? Earlier they only gave like a really small dinky bowl. How, you know, I can't, Put all my vegetables in here so i normally would uh, would um uh, put it in this big bowl and put all the vegetables and everything in here and now you can see it's a big old bowl all right so i'm gonna start eating so this is pho right here okay guys if you guys have never eaten pho before okay And then you guys want to drink some 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 um some soup. Mm. Not too bad, not too bad. I remember back in the days when you buy a bowl of pho, it was like six bucks, you know? Now it's double, 
This bowl right here is the rare steak with soft tendon and it's $12.95. Okay, guys, that's double what it's supposed to be. It's a lot, you know. Back then, you spent six, seven bucks. Now it's like double. Hmm. And I eat with this too, okay? It's really good. Mmm. If you can eat spicy, it's good with the more spicy, you know, with more pepper. But yeah, if you guys have never eaten pho before, this is how it looks like. Okay. It's very popular in Vietnam. Like if you go to like the, um, if you live in like a city where most of the Asian people live or most of the Vietnamese people live, every corner there's a pho restaurant. Okay. Now. I live in San Jose, right in San Jose, California. So like every every corner there's a pho restaurant, but there's only a few that's really good. And this one right here is one of them that's good. There's a few other location or other places really good too, okay? It's just that this one is one of the best one that's in the um, DoorDash app. And so I order from this store instead okay from this restaurant instead because it's on the app and i feel lazy to, to drive all the way to uh the restaurant so i just ordered it and the doordash driver he just delivered it right now and i i'm, I'm eating it right now the only downfall for doing a um you know getting your food delivered home um, is the, um, the soup is getting cold, you know? That's why if you uh, order to go home or deliver home, you want to warm up the soup like what I did earlier. Otherwise, it's too uh, warm. It's not hot, you know? You want to eat? Pho, you gotta eat it like really hot for it to be good. I need more, um, I need more sriracha. So this is the sriracha, sriracha bag that they gave. Pretty good. They gave three, three each. So three of the uh, hoisin sauce and three of the sriracha. So I'm gonna put the third one in. Earlier I only put two of these, so now this is the third one. And I eat really spicy. That's why you can you see that I have another. Um, I have this as well. I got two of these. Damn, this is good. Pho is really good when it's really cold, you know? Like when the weather is out there, you know, it's really cold. Especially right now, it's in the, the 40s or the 50s right now. Eating this is really good. Mm. Normally I make a dipping sauce as well for these right here, but I used up all my hoisin sauce and uh, sriracha, so it's okay. I'm just gonna eat it plain like that, but it's still pretty good. Mm. Ooh. 
Wow. Let me eat one of these um, soft tendon here. So these right here are called the uh, soft tendons, okay? I'll show you right now, right here. These are really good too. I like the rare steak and this one right here. They also have different types. You know, you got meatballs and you got the other stuff. But somehow I don't really like the combination. I just like the um, the one that, you know, like these, you know, just, you know, basically you can order whatever you like, right? Combination just has like every type of meat in there. But sometimes there's a certain type of meat that I don't like. So that's why I don't really want to order a combination. I just ordered the steak, rare steak and this one. Oh, wow. Mm. If you guys eat like really spicy, you guys wanna like eat the um, pepper that's spicy and it tastes really good. All right, guys, so just wanted to show you guys how pho looks like if you guys have never eaten pho before. And if you were to uh, order to go, um, those are the things that I would do to make it taste better by warming it up first. Uh, warm up the soup, uh, put it in a different bowl like this one so you have more space to eat all your vegetables, okay? So you can put all your vegetables in because the bowl they gave us earlier is like a little small one, you know? How are you gonna fit your... Um, your soup and your, uh, your you know, your vegetables and stuff, right? So I would put it in a big bowl like this and then put the sriracha and the hoisin sauce or whatever you want. And then, um, but the most important thing is always warm up the um, the uh, soup, okay? Um, you can either uh, microwave it or put it in another pot and do it, you know, but if you wanna make it quick, just put it in a microwave, it's good enough. All right, all right guys, so that's about it, okay? I just wanted to show you guys how pho looks like and uh you know my way of eating it so at least you know all right so um if you guys have any questions or comment leave them down below if you guys um you know ever ate pho before and if you like it let us know what type you like okay and um if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button okay like the red button on the bottom and next to it make sure to tap on the notification bell so whenever i upload any new videos you'll be the first to be notified all right guys with that being said, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.